Good evening. Welcome to Fully Vision Center's virtual event for February. As you can see uh, below, I am not Dr. Foley. I am Dr. Coulter. I am stepping in for Dr. Foley today as she had to uh, run out of town. Uh, but we do have our wonderful glam squad here again today. We've got Miss Amy here, Miss Stevie, who gives away all of our wonderful prizes. And then new to the event today, we have our lovely laser esthetician, Gabby. And she is actually going to be taking over in the future for a couple of events for our fun IPL and radio frequencies. So look forward to seeing her a little bit more. And then we also have Corey here. He is our territory manager for what we are going to talk about today, which is UpNeek. Upneak is a eye drop, and before we even talk about it, I want to have Amy show you guys a little bit of a demo, so I'm going to turn it over to Amy. Hi guys, welcome. So I wanted to just show you how it all begins. It's going to come just like this. Um, Corey said that we cannot rip it open. It says that you have to use scissors, and believe me, you have to use scissors. Just a little vial. I don't know if you guys can see this. I'm uh, going to just put it in one eye. That way you guys um, can see the difference. So I'm gonna get a little close. So there's that. And then let's put it in. All right, it's a little, um, it's a cooling effect. Um, it's a little oily. So just blink a few times. It's perfect now. I mean, I would say I could see perfectly, but I need glasses. So everything's blurry in front of me, but um, I'm gonna leave my glasses off for the um, entire event because I want you guys to start seeing the difference. Um, it takes about, um, Corey, wouldn't you say about 10, 15 minutes? On average, about five to 10 for most patients. Nice, so you guys will start seeing the difference. I won't because again, I can't see. Um, so yeah. And you guys might be wondering, like, what is this difference that Amy is talking about? So let me pull up a couple of slides here so we can show you exactly what this drop is. And don't forget, there is a Q&A down below. So if you have any questions at all throughout the presentation, don't hesitate to pop them in there. And make sure that you say to the very end, because we have some free giveaways for a couple of people. So to get started, we are talking about Upneak, the eye drop that has been a huge hit in all of the cosmetic industry. It's been actually well known in some magazines, as you can see below, like Allure and Vogue. And essentially, it lifts the eyelids and makes them wider and brighter, and they whiten the eyes just wakes you up. It's like coffee for the eyes. Uh, the FDA approved treatment for this is to treat acquired ptosis, which I'll talk about as well. Uh, but it can be used as often or as little as you want to just have your eyes wide and open and looking absolutely gorgeous or handsome throughout <laughs> the day. And if you're wondering like, okay, do, do I have ptosis? What is this weird word that has a silent P at the beginning? Uh, it's when the upper lid is just a little bit lower than what it used to be in your twenties, essentially. You know, things get a little bit loosey goosey as we have more birthdays. And there's a muscle in our upper eyelids that's meant to hold the eyes open. So you can see really clearly all day long without having this little hood over your vision. So with more birthdays or comes contact lens wearing or some surgeries that can actually start to droop over time, which can make things appear a little bit darker if it's drooping into the pupil margin. So it can be difficult to read or drive and even just to look up instead of looking up, you might have to tilt your head up if you have to about ptosis there. There's different categories of ptosis. So when you're kind of looking at yourself, you can even take out your phone right now and just 
get the camera, pull it up to yourself right here and measure with this little picture how much ptosis you might have. You're measuring really between the top of the lid and where it is in regards to the pupil margin. So you can see that a mild one, it's just touching a little bit onto the iris, that colored part of the eye. Moderate, it's drooping down a little bit lower, getting towards that pupil. And then severe, it can even be overlapping that pupil margin a little bit too. And this drop will actually raise that up and make it appear so clear and just absolutely gorgeous, wide, bright, white eyes. You can use up Neek whenever you want. It is a temporary drop, temporary fix. And so if you have like a date night or a girl's weekend, maybe you have a big work presentation that you just wanna make sure that even though you spent all night trying to work on, your eyes are nice and bright and you look awake for the presentation. Or you could just use it every day because it is such a fun and neat drop. Uh, and it just came onto the market too. We've had it in our office for a, about a couple of months now, and we have just been loving it for our, our patients and then us ourselves. So make sure you're watching Amy throughout this too, because that's her right eye. Are we, are we, are we, I'm going to get closer so everybody can see. There we go. Oh my gosh, look at that. <laughs> How is it feeling right now after it's been a couple of minutes, Amy? I mean, just besides dabbing at the corners, I don't even know that the side's a little brighter um, because I think more light's getting in. But um, other than that, the feeling is perfectly fine. Wonderful. There's a little video here that also has another patient testimonial that I'm going to play for you guys. Spending so much time on Zoom and Skype and Google meetings, I really noticed I didn't like what was happening with my eyes. My lids were heavy, they were low, they were drooping, and I felt like I looked sleepy even after a good night's sleep. I was really excited after learning that Apneek had a drop for acquired ptosis and was super excited to give it a try. After using it just a week, I noticed a huge difference and felt like my eyes looked lighter, they looked wider, they looked brighter. Wonderful. And so I'm going to pass it on now to Corey. There we go. Who's going to talk a little bit more about kind of the science behind the drop and some of the outcomes too. Sure. Uh, thank you, Dr. Coulter, and um, welcome everybody who's, you know, joined us in this uh, fantastic talk about kind of the new latest and greatest in eyelids, um, non-surgical, non-invasive eyelid lift, which is basically what this thing does. Lifts the eyelids and whitens the eyes, as she said, and the easy way that it does that is it contracts the Mueller's muscle, as you see on the screen there, which just shapes out the upper eyelid very nicely, um, gives it more of a natural appearance from what you might get when the when the eyes start to get tired. You know, whether that's first thing in the morning when you notice that your, your lids are droopy or later in the afternoon when you kind of feel that, you know, after lunch lull in the day and you kind of feel like you might need an afternoon pick me up. Like she stated earlier, this really is like coffee for the eye. Um, so it does, it really makes the eyes appear more wider and awake and way more natural, especially from the whitening perspective that you get from it as well. So it really is kind of a two for mechanism of action. Um, there is a vasoconstriction that happens and then a contraction of that Mueller's muscle. So it's a pretty fantastic uh, result that you get from there. Um, like we stated earlier, it takes roughly five to 10 minutes for most people to start seeing some results. Uh, a fast responder will have result, results in about two or three minutes is what kind of what you saw with Amy there. She's already got a, a good lift in the lid and uh, some whitening in that eye. It's, it's a little hard to see in the short amount of time. So we'll get her back on here, hopefully with the little longer view at that eyelid. But the average half-life for this drop is about eight hours. So most patients are going to see like a 12 to 16 hour efficacy use out of it. Um, one of the nice things, especially with the patients from this practice, is that it is preservative free. Um, so if you do suffer from any kind of ocular surface disease or anything like that, it's not going to exacerbate or undermine any of the therapy that you're on or any of the symptoms that you have. So 
Um, it, de it definitely feels very soothing on the ocular surface. It uses an artificial tear base called hyperomelos, which is what's in the majority of the artificial tears. And, you know, one of the cool things about these vials is they are overfilled. So even though it is designed to be used once a day, you might find that there's some left over and I would definitely talk to your doctor about how they would best prescribe that to you at that point in time and what they want to do from a dosing perspective. So um, coffee, coffee for the eyelids, it's exactly what it is. You know, some people are going to have a, a significant response with regards to even just at like a half millimeter of lift which to some of you that might not make a whole lot of sense, but you know, just think about the dis distance between the pupil and the eye is generally roughly a half millimeter itself. So if you can lift the lid off the, the pupil and, a, and a, or sorry, between the pupil and the iris, not the eye, um, the pupil and the iris. So if you lift that lid off the pupil and to the top of the iris, that's a pretty significant increase. You know, the average lift that we saw in the FDA trials was one millimeter and the maximum that you can get out of a Mueller's muscle full range of motion is about three millimeters in most patients. So this is a, a fun patient here because she's actually from an optometry practice in the Portland area. And she has a fantastic response, especially you can see there in her left eye. Um, you know, ultimately she might be a candidate for a, a single lid surgery, but you can see the response that she gets afterwards, which only took about 15 minutes. Uh, it really makes her, her face and her eyes much more symmetrical. So if you only have one eye with a, with a problem, if you have what's called a unilateral ptosis or, um, you know, unilateral lid droop, then you can treat that one eye and, you know, kind of create that symmetry that you probably had either early on in your life or that you, in theory, should have if you were born this way. Um, one thing to note, though, is that if you are treating the one eye, you're probably ultimately going to have to treat both of them to get them to the same location because with with most people, if they do have one droopy eye, the other one is slightly droopy as well. And so in the scenario where you're, you're a unilateral patient, you might end up having to treat both eyes. But the nice thing is you can start with one and see where it goes and then you know level out the other eye afterwards because it does work so fast. There you go, picture's worth a thousand words. Let's see what we got, boom. This is your mild, moderate, and severe patients right here. So what you're seeing, in, and those are extended response times because it does take in some patients up to two hours to get to reach the full maximum benefit, but that doesn't mean that you won't see a benefit significantly quicker than that. But you can see there in the images on the left, you know, before Upneak, you know, these images are, are very obviously very beautiful women. Um, but you look at the enhancements of the eyes afterwards, I would really like to see their full face because I feel like the person who's severe, she might not look like she's, you know, scared as much <laughs> as she saw the whole face. But you know, at least it shows the effects that you get with the image, you know, her, her eyelid is really arched out very well right across the top of the iris, um, free and clear of any uh, destruct like any disturbance of the pupil. You're gonna let a lot more light through. You're gonna feel a lot more awake and you can even see the vasculature and the before images, especially in her left eye, she's got some small vasculature um, on the lateral aspect of her conjunctiva there that is now gone. So you're, uh, you're seeing a very, very nice white clear eye. And guys' eyes matter too, everybody. I just want to let you know, um, you know, one of the neat things about having this product and, and talking with a lot of doctors who, you know, give me feedback is that one of the interesting things is a lot of wives have been buying this for their husbands because the husband won't necessarily admit that they have something going on. But I, I can guarantee you that if they knew that they could do something about it without surgery, um, they'd be much more interested. So it's really neat to see the response that we get from guys. And right now, uh, males account for about 40 percent of all the prescriptions going through for Upneak. So it's a, it's not definitely not a woman dominated um, prescription, even though it is very much an aesthetic drop, because as I said, guys, eyes do matter too. Oh, there's, uh, there's me and my response that I get. Um, I'm a chronic tired eye guy. And I really feel it in the afternoon. I had two, two common questions that I get asked or if I'm tired or if I'm stoned and I don't like either one of those. So for me, it's an absolute must to have this in my pocket and be able to use it to avoid those questions. Um, the woman in the upper left-hand corner is uh, my coworker and she's a 20, very beautiful 29 year old girl. And this shows that this is not just a need product, but it can very much be a want product. She, not, she does, doesn't necessarily need it, but after you, the response that she gets in her left eye there, you can see that she definitely wants this product. And the other one is a very nice single eye response as well. And it gives a good comparison, especially from a whitening perspective. You can see that in all three of our eyes, the whitening is fantastic. 
Um, if you're familiar with Lumify, it's similar to Lumify, maybe not quite to that same extent of whitening, but it's much healthier because it doesn't have a, the preservative that Lumify has in it. So, you know, if you are a dry eye sufferer, or potentially like maybe someone to glaucoma and the medications cause a lot of ocular irritation, you, know, you should really consider switching to this instead of Lumify because it does give you a much healthier whitening to your eyes. Wonderful. And, Thank you. Yeah, see how we're really going to do quick, this. I'm sorry, really quick, Corey, we have a question. Um, oh. How does one uh, use Upneak if uh, you use contact lenses? Um, so the line that you will always hear in the ophthalmic space is that you want to instill the drop 10 to 15 minutes before putting your contact lenses in. So I can tell you that now. Um, they might tell you something different at the office because there, there is other information, but the, the reality of it is we did not study it in contact lenses. So the, the safe thing to say is just put it in before your contact lenses. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Corey. That was some really great information. I'm going to quickly end the slide here, but we will get to the giveaway because I want to have Amy's video wide and open there. There we go. So that way she can kind of go closer to the camera and show the difference there. Look at that. Wow. Oh my gosh. You can see how white it is. <laughs> uh, yeah, you are a really good responder. You were correct. <laughs> yes. Yeah, this will be fun driving home. <laughs> Hopefully I don't get pulled over. <laughs> right. And we've and we've now been on for 15 minutes. So that, you know, and obviously you had the response sooner than that, but that shows you that if you get that kind of response in, in 15 minutes, then it's really easy to put it in before contacts, before you leave the house on your way to work, um, on your way to an event. You know, the nice thing is it does work very quickly. Yeah, I remember the first time we got the Upneak drop in our office, I put it in one eye just like Amy did. And I wasn't paying attention and just went home that day. And my husband looks at me, he's like, what in the world is going on with you? You look weird. I can't look at you while you talk. So <laughs> yeah, it was very funny. <laughs> All right, let me pull this back up again because we are going to do our giveaway. So I'm roll. <laughs> All right, Stevie, take it away. Okay, well, first I want to say before I give anything away that everybody that's watching this, of course, you can swing by the office at any time and we will give you a free sample. Okay, just so that's know. And now it's time for the big thing. So, oh, and we do sell it here, by the way. So if you get it, it's not a prescription you need to go get anywhere. So the very first person of two that I'm going to pick today is our little girl, Terry. <laughs> Terry! You know who you are, girl. <laughs> All right. And the next name is Karen. And I believe there's only one Karen on out there. So instead of saying your last name, you could just call me tomorrow and... You know who you are. <laughs> Karen, right. Karen K. Yep, Karen K. Perfect. <laughs> and uh, just so that we know, uh, Corey, how many of these vials are in a box and how long does it usually last for? Yeah, each one of the prescription boxes comes with 30 vials in it. Um, and given the nature of the overfill of each vial, you should expect to get somewhere between two to three months of use out of each box. Oh, um, I was going to show that actually. Yeah, it's, it truly is a, an as-needed medication, you know, even for somebody who is a, um, a need patient, you know, if you can extend it, each vial out for a couple days, then you're going to get at least 60 days worth. So from a value perspective, just make sure that you make it last. Or if you have a spouse, you and your spouse can use the same box and it's going to save you. There you go. So I don't know, can you guys, so this line right there is where it is filled up to and I only put one little drop in so there is no there is a lot of product in these little tiny vials you guys wonderful do we have another question here Let's we do see. what does a box cost cd it's a hundred dollars a box I did, I muted myself <laughs> <laughs> Like, oh, I thought it was done. <laughs> yep, 150 a box. Yes. 
And um, like it was already said, you do not need a prescription. So you can just call the office. We are still doing the curbside um, pickup. So give us a call and uh, we can bring it out to you. All right. Any other questions? Go Terry. <laughs> so, so. <laughs> We've been waiting. <laughs> oh, we have another question. Another one. Amy, when you're reading stuff and squinting, you have one eye that's like actually <laughs> open and the other one is like. <laughs> Thanks, Gabby. I, <laughs> I'm going to put my glasses I can, on. I can answer that. And this that. is being recorded. <laughs> yeah. So um, the question was, can you oh. use it more, more than once, like once in the morning and once in the evening? And that will be completely dependent on what kind of responder you are. If you're a person who has a long efficacy scenario where you still have a response, let's say, you know, put it in at 730 in the morning and you're at 730 at night, you're ready to go to dinner and your eyes haven't moved, like the, the medication hasn't started to wear off, then putting another drop in will not do anything. Um, if you're somebody who, you know, after eight to 10 hours, they start, it starts a, a waning effect and, and the eyelids are starting to go back to their normal position, then of course, at that point in time, you would get likely get some response out of it, but it is truly supposed to be used as a once a day drop, but, but you know, everybody's going to experiment with a little bit and see what they get from a second dose. But I would just say, really make sure that you look at how far apart those doses are, because you might absolutely not need it, even though you feel like you do. Wonderful. All right. Are there any other questions for tonight? If not, we shall bid you goodbye. And I want to say thank you again to Corey for taking time out of his evening and uh, helping promote the product and let you guys know all about this fun, fun drop that we have available in our office. And like Stevie said, give us a call. We've got some free samples for you guys, or you can just buy a whole box if you know you're going to love it. <laughs> And just another reminder, um, guys, that we are doing uh, virtual events every month at the end. It's the last Wednesday of every month. So just look forward to um, those coming out soon. All right. Well, have a great evening, you guys, and stay warm out there. It is very cold. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye. Thank you. <laughs>